Well, I'm Hephaestus. <clears throat> I am the god of fire. And uh, this is just a test. Action. Hello. Have you ever been abandoned? Have you ever been abandoned a second time? I'm Hephaestus. I'm the god of fire and blacksmithing. And you should really listen to my story. My father is Zeus and my mother is Hera. And they just really didn't like me. They tried to throw me off of Mount Olympus. And, you know, for my sort of endurance within this, I think that I'm the best Greek figure. I think that because I have this sort of hardworking skill to me and I've persevered through all of this adversity, as well as the fact that I am a skilled craftsman, I should be the uh, best Greek figure. Have you ever been abandoned? Have you ever been abandoned a second time? Well, you should meet me. I have been. I am Hephaestus, the god of metalworking and fire. My father is Zeus, and my mother is Hera, and they really didn't like my existence. So I'm here to propose to you this new thing. It's called, I'm the best Greek figure. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hephaestus, what makes you the greatest Greek, Greek figure? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. A, I am I came back. They threw me off. I didn't die. I'm still here. I survived that adversity. B, I'm a great craftsman. You've seen my work around. You most definitely have if you've heard any of the Greek myths. And thirdly, I'm hardworking. I've, I've got some talent to me, you know. My little workshop. And I'm persevering. I'm here alive. It, it hurts, but I'm, I'm here. Oh, this is just okay. Take three. Have you ever been abandoned? Have you ever been abandoned twice? I have. I'm Hephaestus. I'm the god of fire and metalworking. And this, this is a funny story. I will get into it later. But you should proclaim, proclaim me the best Greek figure. Why? Because I have an amazing work ethic. I'm a blacksmith. You've seen my creations. You know you have. So, that's part two. I'm also famous. Even though you may not see me, you've seen what I've done. And thirdly, despite all of my hardships, I'm still here and standing. Despite the fact it hurts. Take five. Have you ever been disowned? Have you ever been disowned a second time? Hi, 
I'm Hephaestus. I'm the god of fire and metalworking, and you should vote me for best Greek figure. Not only have I been abandoned once by my mother at birth, but twice by my father. This isn't a good introduction, but let me spice it up a little bit, folks. I'm going to put this in your mind. Why should you vote me? A. I've got a pretty good work ethic. B. After I patched up my relationships with my mom and my dad, I was the coolest craftsman in the land. You've seen my work. I know you have. And thirdly, despite having fallen from Olympus to Earth, I am here. I have overcome that adversity. And if this is some sort of political election, I should be the one chosen to win it. And I'm in pain. So much pain. Have you ever been disowned? Have you ever been disowned a second time? I have. My name's Festus. I am the god of metalworking and fire. My mother is Hera, and she threw me from Olympus when I was a kid. And then my father Zeus disowned me too. Now you may be asking yourself, why would I vote Hephaestus to be the best Greek figure? I mean, as far as I know the guy, he was thrown off Mount Olympus and outcasted. That doesn't make him cool at all. Well, let me tell it to you my way. Maybe you'll understand then. Stop. Well, you should vote me. Take two. Action. You should vote me for these three reasons. A. I've survived hardships beyond anything, man. I'm serious. You know, when you're thrown off of a mountain, that's hard. Not just any mountain, but off of the heavens themselves into earth. Second of all, B. Can I do take three? Take seven. Action. Best Greek figure. Who is it? Me, Hephaestus. Why? Three reasons. I will tell you these reasons. One, I've got a worth ethic. I got a work ethic. Take eight. Start. Take nine. 
best Greek figure. Who is it? It's me. Why? Three reasons. I'm going to tell you them. One, I've got a work ethic, bro. I am not messing around. When I put myself to it, it gets done. I've done this shot 17 times, and I'm still here committed to... You've seen what I've done, man. You have seen it. I will expand upon that later. Get back to me on this. Three. I have survived hardships. I have survived so many hardships. I am in so much pain. It is a pain to get that done right. And I'm here. Take eight. 136. That's why you should vote me. But wait, there's more. I'm going to expand upon this. I'm going to double-decker bust this through your face. Take 10. Best Greek figure. Who is it? You're looking at me like I'm insane. But it's me. Why? Three reasons. One, I have a work ethic like an alcoholic. Take 11. Best Greek figure, who is it? It's me. I'm the best Greek figure. Nope, 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 shut, shut that. It's me. Three reasons. One, I work really hard. You know, you know, it's really hard in a forge being, you know, the best... The best, uh, you know, guy there. I have made all of the cool stuff that the gods and all the good heroes use. You should know this. Three. I've survived all of this. I've been filming for hours and I'm still here. I've been thrown off of a mountain down to earth and almost died and I'm still here, man. And that's why you should vote me. Take six. Action. Best Greek figure. Me. Why? Three reasons. I'll tell you right now. One. Take four. Action. You should vote me best Greek figure. Why? There are three reasons. A. I have an amazing work ethic. I mean, just look at this. I'm in my own shower right now, interrupting my own private time to tell you that I should be the best Greek figure. I don't like that. Take five. Start now. Okay, best Greek figure, me. Why? Three reasons, I'll tell you. One, I've got a work ethic, a work ethic on me that you've never seen. If you put me in charge, I will do this country right. I mean, just look at my creations, man. You have seen them, I am certain. I will get more into that, but you have seen them. I know you have seen them. Second of all, I've survived hardships, man. I have been thrown from heaven down to earth, and I am still here. And third of all, because it's funny. Take 12. Best Greek figure. Who is it? It's me. It's me. No. Sh sh no. It's me. Why? Three reasons. One. I have a good work ethic. I work hard. 
harder than just about any god because Zeus will sit up there on his little throne making weather while I'm sitting there hammering away at whatever the heck I'm hammering up there. Two, I've made his throne. I've made all of the gods' armor and weapons and all that jazz. Even the good heroes, I made their stuff. Third, I've overcome it. I'm, I'm not... I've overcome it. I'm, I've been thrown off, you know, a mountain, but... I've overcome it. I'm here. I'm now. I'm alive. That's why you should vote me. I've overcome it. I'm o I've overcome the adversity. I'm here despite everything before. That's why you should vote me. Now, I know I'm not the king of the people's court. Believe me, when you're ugly like I am, and you have a limp, it's kind of hard. But, other people will argue, Hey, this guy's strength, this guy's strength, he's got a work ethic. Now, I know I'm not the king of people's court. Now, I know I'm not the king of people's court. Believe me, it's kind of hard when you have a limp and you're considered ugly, even by Greek standards, and you're not really on Mount Olympus all the time. I mean, that's really what all people can throw at me. Besides the fact, you know, I guess I have an ego for doing this. I... But allow me to indulge in that ego just a little bit and explain to you why you should just disregard the fact I'm not really there all the time. One, I got, I'm pretty strong, man. Working in a workshop. Now, I know I'm not the king of people's court. Believe me, it's kind of hard when you have a limp and you're considered ugly, even by Greek standards. And you're not really on Mount Olympus all the time. That being said, there are some things that... You can really put me. No, no. Now, I know I'm not the king of people's court. Believe me, it's hard when you have a limp and you're kind of ugly, even by Greek standards. And you could be argued for having an ego. It most definitely can be argued that you're not there a lot. I have a job, and I do that, which is a big thing. It can be considered a positive of how much I work. If I was put in charge of this... Now, I know I'm not the king of people's court. Now, I know I'm not the king of the people's court. Believe me, it is hard when you are considered ugly, even by Greek standards, and you have a limp. And, you know, being born this way and being thrown off a mountain. And it's also kind of hard when you're not really on Mount Olympus all the time. Some people don't even know I exist. And you could argue that this is egotistical. But allow me to indulge in this ego just a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, and the rest. I do a lot of work. I have a workshop. You can argue that I'm the only one with a job while all the others are freeloaders. I mean, just look at Dionysus. Now, I know I'm not the king of the people's court. That is hard, considering the fact you are ugly, even by Greek standards, you have a limp from birth, and 
You're not really on Mount Olympus a lot. You're stuck inside of a steel foundry. That being said, there are some cool things about it. One, I have the strength of a, like a hundred bison or something. Two, I have an extremely good work ethic. I mean, the OI Greek mythology website. Blah, blah, blah. Now, I know I'm not the king of the people's court. Believe me, it's hard when you are ugly, you have a limp from birth, and you're not really on Mount Olympus a lot. I'm stuck in a forge. But being stuck in that forge allows me to be strong, moral character, and physical appearance, as well as having great commitment. I have amazing commitment to the crafts I do, and I have a work ethic. Now, I know I'm not the king of the people's court. That... <laughs> now, I know I'm not the king of the people's court. It's kind of hard when you're considered ugly, you have a limp from birth, and you're not really on Mount Olympus a whole lot. That being said, the reason I'm not on Mount Olympus a whole lot is because I'm in a workshop, which is where I'm getting super buff doing all of this cool blacksmithing as well as committing to my trade. I have amazing commitment, and I have done a lot of the pieces that a lot of the gods cherish, and a lot of you have come to love. For example, the Shield of Achilles, quoted from Theoi Greek Mythology's website. First of all, he forged the shield that was huge and heavy, elaborating it about, and he threw it around in a shining triple rim that glittered and... <laughs> The shield strap was cast of silver. There was five folds composing the shield itself, and upon it he elaborated many things in his skill and craftsmanship. He made the earth upon it, and the, and the, sun, and the sun, and the seas, and the water. No. Now I know I'm not the king of the people's court. It's kind of hard when you're considered ugly, even by Greek standards, you have had a limp since birth, and you're not really present on Mount Olympus. That being said, where am I when I'm not on Mount Olympus? Well, I'm in my workshop, which is a forge. Okay. Well, I'm not the king of the people's court. That's mostly due to the fact that I'm considered ugly, even by Greek standards. I have a limp, which I have from birth, and I'm not really on Mount Olympus. I'm in my forge. Being in this forge has given me a lot of strength, because mo moving around molten metal is not really an easy task. I don't know if you've ever done it. I have. It's not cool. And... I'm usually down there committing to the number of orders and requests I get from gods and Greek heroes. One of these being from the, being Achilles. Now I know I'm not the king of the people's court, and that's mostly due to the fact that I'm ugly. Even by Greek standards, I have a limp, which I have from birth, and I'm not really on Mount Olympus a whole lot. Where am I? I'm in my forge, which, if you don't know, contains a lot of hot and heavy metal. Not the music genre, really heavy metal. It is a burden to carry around, but I do it anyway, because most of the time I'm committed to doing whatever the gods and goddesses and all the fun little heroes want me to make. I've made some of the most acclaimed pieces in the Greek mythology. One of these being the Shield of Achilles, which I will now describe as quoting from Theoi, Greek mythology's website. First of all, he forged a shield that was huge and heavy, elaborating it about, and threw it around, and threw around it a shining triple rim that glittered, and, and the shield strap was cast of silver. There were five folds composing the shield itself, and upon it, he 
He elaborated many things in his skill and craftsmanship. He made the earth upon it, and the sun, and the sea's water, and the tireless sun. Oh. Sky. Now I know I'm not the king of the people's court, mostly due to the fact that I am considered ugly, even by Greek standards, I have a limp, thanks mother, and I'm not on Mount Olympus a whole lot. Why? Well, I'm down in my forge, which contains a lot of heavy metal, which makes a man like me strong and sweaty. I'm going to forget I said that. Now, I know I'm not the king of the people's court, and that's mostly due to the fact that I'm considered ugly, even by Greek standards. I have a lame foot. Ouch. And I am not... Okay. Now, I know I'm not the king of the people's court, which is... Now, I know I'm not the king of the people's court, which can mostly be summed up due to the fact that I'm considered ugly, even by Greek standards. I have a limp, and I've been thrown off a mountain, as well as the fact I'm not really on that mountain a whole lot. Where am I? I'm in my forge, where I am hauling around heavy metals, which makes me a very strong boy. While I'm committing to whatever the orders that I've been given to are, which are usually by, you know, the gods, the goddesses, and the uh, Greek heroes. If you, uh, you might know them, you might not. Uh, gee, I don't know. I put my hole in that, and put my hole into it, and... Now I... Now I know I'm not the king of the people's court. And that can mostly be summed up due to the fact I'm considered ugly, even by Greek standards, and I have a limp from birth. As well as the fact I'm not really on the mountain, because I got kicked out once, brought back again, kicked out again, might have been brought back, don't recall. Anyways. Now, I know I'm not the king of the people's court, and that can mostly be summed up due to the fact that I'm considered ugly, even by Greek standards. Now, I know I'm not the king of the people's court, and that can mostly be summed up due to the fact that I'm considered ugly, even by Greek standards. I have a limp from birth, and I'm not really on Mount Olympus a whole lot. That being said, where am I? Well, I'm in my workshop where I'm moving around heavy metals, which makes me strong. Heavy metal, it's heavy. You knew this. You knew where I was going. Now, I know I'm not the king of the people's court, and that can be summed up due to the fact that I'm pretty darn ugly, even by Greek standards, as well as the fact I was born with a limb. And I'm not really on Mount Olympus a whole lot. I'm kind of always in my forge, where I'm making cool things out of heavy metal. Which must mean I'm strong. And I'm committing all the time to my craft. So much so that the Greek gods and goddesses, as well as the good heroes, have came to me and ordered, slash requested, armor, weapons, and whatever else. Speaking upon the shield of Achilles, Theoi Greek Mythology's website has this to say. First of all, he forged a shield that was huge and heavy, elaborating it about and threw it around and threw around it a shining triple rim. First of all, he forged a shield that was huge and heavy, elab elaborating it. Elab elab 
First of all, he forged a shield that was huge and heavy, elaborating it about and threw around it a shining triple rim that glittered and the shield strap was cast of silver. There were five folds composing the sun itself and upon it he elaborated many things in his skill and craftsmanship. He made the earth upon it and the sky and the sea's water and the tireless sun and the moon waxing into her fullness and on it all the constellations that festoon the heavens the like the Pleiades and the Hyades. Okay. First of all, he forged a shield that was huge and heavy, elaborating it about. First of all, he forged a shield that was huge and heavy, elaborating. First, he forged a shield that was huge and heavy, elaborating it around and. First of all, he first of all he forged a shield that was huge and first of all he forged a shield that was huge and heavy, elaborating it about, and threw around it a shining triple rim that glittered, and the shield strap was cast of silver. There was five folds composing the shield itself, and upon it he elaborated many things in his skill and craftsmanship. He made the earth upon it, and the sky, and the sea's water, and the tireless sun, and the moon's wa and the moon waxing into her fullness, and on it he First of all, he forged a shield that was huge and heavy, elaborating it about and threw around it a shining triple rim that glittered, and the shield strap was cast of silver. There was five folds compro compri- First of all, he forged a shield that was huge and heavy, elaborating it about and threw around it a shining triple rim that glittered, and the shield strap was cast of silver. There were five folds composing, compri comprising, composing, composing. Okay, we're gonna get back to that. Now I know I'm not the king of the people's court, considering the fact that I'm pretty darn ugly even by Greek standards, and I have had a limp since birth. As well as, I'm not really on Mount Olympus a whole lot. Where am I? I'm in my forge. I'm moving around heavy metals and sitting in the fire, which must make me a pretty strong person. What do you say? And, while I am a strong person, I will also give it to commitment. You have to have that, and I have a lot of that, considering the fact that the Greek gods and goddesses, as well as all the good heroes, have came to me and been satisfied with their armor, weapons, etc. Achilles, notably, has his shield process documented by the Oi Greek Mythology's website. Here's what they have to say. First of all, he forged a shield that was huge and heavy, elaborating it about, and threw around it a shining triple rim that glittered, and the shield strap was cast of silver. There were five folds composing the shield itself, and upon it he elaborated many things in his skill and craftsmanship. He made the earth upon it, and the sky, and the sea's water, and the tireless sun, and the moon waxing into her fullness, and on it all the constellations that festoon the heavens, the Pleiades and the Hyades, and the strength of Orion the bear. Not bad. Well, besides Achilles, which you may not know, you know, fought in Troy, here are some other things that I've done. I've also done Zeus's lightning bolt, Achilles' armor, mentioned before briefly, Hermes' winged hat and boots so he can travel really fast. I've also done the chariot of Helios. Sun's, sun god's gotta get around, you know. I've also done the armor of Heracles, not Herculad, I'm working on that and the arrows of Apollo and Artemis. Now, you may be asking yourself, that's cool, I know all this. What else? Well, you're in luck, I've got four other things for you. One, I'm the only god to ever be exiled and re-exiled. One, I'm the only god to be exiled and unexiled from Mount Olympus. Two, Instead of riding a chariot like Helios or just about any other god, 
I decided to ride a donkey because I represent the working class. I also employed the Cyclops in my forge. That's one less eye to get poked out by a burning metal rod. I'm sorry, Odysseus and your Cyclops. <clears throat> and according to Britannica.com, I was originally a deity of Asia Minor and of the adjoining islands, particularly Lemnos. Hephaestus had an important place of worship in the Lycan Olympus. So apparently I was worshipped there. I didn't know that. I just sort of work all the time. 